Large MPVs are only really as good as their seating systems, and in my opinion, the VW Charan has one of the best on the market, and I'll demonstrate it right now. Actually, before we talk about the seats, I should mention just how useful this sliding rear door is because it makes getting into the back dead easy. Even in tight parking spaces, it means you don't have to worry about your kids getting out and bashing other cars with the door. You can even get that electrically operated if you want. Anyway, the seats, right, look at this. It's so easy to get into the back because of the way this seat folds and slides. Okay then, here in the rearmost row, there's just about enough room for me, which means kids will be absolutely fine. And you can keep them safe because you've got full length curtain airbags which extend all the way back here. Right then, the middle row. Okay, now, as you can see, there is plenty of room for adults back here. You get these handy picnic tables to eat your lunch off. All the seats, they slide and recline individually. And you can even get them with these handy boosters for children. Although, if you're a big kid like me, it does affect headroom somewhat. However, what I think is the best thing about these seats is just how easy they are to fold away, which is really handy if you're a busy mum wrestling a child. And I'm gonna illustrate that now by folding them away with one hand in my pocket. So here we go. There you go, you're left with a massive load area, which is especially practical because... Oh, sorry, bear with me, it's one of those rather slow electric tailgates. Because, once you push the seats down and flip the backs over, as you see, you've got a completely flat load bay, which makes it easy to slide longer items, such as this snowboard, all the way to the back. Being a Volkswagen, the Schran has a high quality yet robust feel. You get pleasing soft touch materials on the dash, controls which have a satisfyingly damped feeling to them, while all the dials and instruments are logically laid out and easy to read. Standard equipment is generous too, even the base model gets dual zone climate control, iPod connectivity and DAB digital radio. Obviously, being an MPV, you've got lots of useful storage places dotted around this cabin. However, being a VW means that they're actually lined either with a nice soft felty material or a special grippy rubbery material to stop your bits and bobs rattling. And that's the thing with VWs, you see. You can just imagine there's a man in an office in Germany whose job it is to specifically think of ways of making the whole ownership experience just that little bit nicer. The Schramm is available with two turbo petrol and two two-litre diesels, the pick of which is the 140 horsepower model, which can do over 50 miles per gallon. Not bad for something that can carry seven people. All the engines are nice and quiet, and this plus a cabin that's well insulated from outside noise means it's very easy for your passengers in the back to drop off to sleep, which is really handy if you're embarking on a long, arduous journey with your family. The fact that the ride is nice and comfy helps too, and you can actually get the car with adaptable suspension, but really it's not worth paying extra for that because the standard spring setup is just so good anyway. Now obviously you don't buy a large MPV for its handling prowess. However, the Chiron actually goes around corners pretty well for such a large vehicle. And the steering, it's sharp and accurate too. However, if you want to carry seven people and have fun while you're doing it, I think you'd be a lot better off with a Ford S-Max because that really is a have your cake and eat it car. Whereas the Chiron, it's sensible. As for entertaining, not so much. There are some other problems with the Charan. For instance, even though you sit nice and high, the door mirrors a little bit on the small side, which is a bit of a pain considering how long this vehicle is. Speaking of which, it's not much fun to navigate round town because it's just so huge. I don't particularly like doing mini roundabouts such as this because, oh God, that's a little bit embarrassing. I almost hit the curb then. And you can take an absolute age looking for a parking space that's big enough.
However, the biggest problem with the Charan is its price because it costs more than the Seat Alhambra. Yet it's exactly the same car pretty much, apart from the badge. That said, you might be willing to pay that little bit extra to own a Volkswagen.